passed in 1990, the American Disabilities Act, or the ADA, set landmark accessibility requirements that affect both the private and the public entities. Just as the ADA requires handicap access uh, to buildings, it also demand, demands that auxiliary aids be made available to anybody with a disability. In the case of deaf or hard of hearing, that means providing closed captioning for videos. Now, these videos can be uh, public videos like state and local governments, or it can be private entities such as things like Netflix. So it's very important to make sure that we can create these captions for those that are hard of hearing or deaf so that they can enjoy the experiences that we have to offer. And it's really just a little bit of extra work for us on our end, but it goes a long way. Not only that, you can actually get a little bit more out of it because a lot of videos as you scroll through like Instagram or Facebook do not have the audio on when you're in like a preview mode. So as you're scrolling through, they can actually read the bottom captions so you're actually capturing more than just your um, deaf or hard of hearing audiences. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly uh, create a transcription and put it as closed captioning using Final Cut Pro and how to edit and do this relatively automated. Stay tuned and let's switch over to my Mac. All right, let's dive right in. I have a project that's brought up already. Uh, as you can see, it's right in front of me on my timeline. What you want to do is typically be done with your project up until the very end. Then you want to put the closed captions in. That way, if you move stuff around, you don't have to worry about your closed captioning being, being off. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of different methods to do this. And the first method is the manual method. And it's really, really easy. What you want to do is you want to find in your clips where the voice is. So let me, I'm going to go ahead and hit play here. Passed in 1990. So the first thing I said was passed in 1990. So let's let's zoom in on that real quick by doing control plus a couple times and you can see where I say this. Passed in 19 see where it starts, you can look at the waveforms and that's the idea is where the waveform starts is where you want to start your closed caption and you want it to pop up then. So go ahead and click right at that waveform beginning and then hold option and hit the letter C and you'll see right here it says format ITT that stands for iTunes text something like that anyways and now what you want to do is you want to put in your actual words passed in 1990s whatever it might be right and then you can click out of it now you'll see it automatically put from here to here it put the closed caption but that's probably not right so let's play it and watch the closed caption at the same time passed in 1990 the american disability see it's definitely not what you want to do is kind of look for those waveform breaks you can see right here there's a little bit of a break so i'm going to close this up and i think i said passed in 1990 passed in 1990 and then I said the word the, so you can either have the word the, or I'm gonna close this out a little bit, make it skinnier, double click on it, and I say passed in 1990. Let's just do that. Passed in 1990, the... So I'm saying the American Disabilities Act, and that starts right here. So I'll go ahead and do option C here, and I would say the American Disability Act, and I can't spell today. So we have, I believe this lowercase, the American Disability Act, and I say more. And you can go across using these little arrows too and kind of follow along, and you can switch from one closed caption to the other. Let's see, let's test this out here. Passed in 1990, the American Disabilities Act. Or Disabilities Act, or, now you can see how this can become really time consuming. Or ADA. And I know I'm going to say that, so I can stretch this out. And you can move these around. You can copy paste them. Disabilities Act or the ADA. Or the ADA. See how I'm not quite getting everything there? Well, this could be a little painful if your video is long. So I wanted to show you a couple different ways to do this. Um, this was the simple manual method. So if you have a short video, this might be perfectly fine. Now, what I use is a service called TEMI or TEME. I have it up over here in my 
my Chrome browser. Now I pay for this, temi.com, and what it is, it's a transcription service, and I've used a few different ones in the past, and I found this one to be really, really easy to use and affordable. So it allows you to edit the content too in real time basically to help you do this. And what I do is I, I send the audio here. It transcribes it for me with about an 80% accuracy. And then I listen to the audio and I fix any errors, right? And now this is all outside of Final Cut Pro. Then I export a file called an SRT file from here and I import the file into my Final Cut Pro, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, this is free the first couple times you do this, so I wanna caveat, like it's free the first few times, but then you have to pay for it. So by that, I mean, let's go to a new uh, private browser here, and I'm gonna do temi.com. I think I have clue. Might have capped lock on. So I go to Temi and uh, it says right here, select audio video file. You wanna drop your file right in there. It's gonna ask you for your email. So it'll transcribe it for you, give you a, a free trial. I think there's maybe like up to three minutes of free. Try it out. If you like it, it might be worth it. So as you can see down at the bottom here, it says 10 cents per minute. Now that is really not that bad. So a 15 minute video, uh, could potentially cost a dollar fifty to transcribe. To me, it's well worth it. But I want to I want to just say that this is free the first few times, so feel free to give it a trial run. I'm not going to use private mode because I'm already signed up. But this is how easy it is. You drop your file here, select it. It'll send you an email with a link, and then I will show you what that looks like here in a moment. So I'm going to close this back out. Let's go back to Final Cut Pro, and what we're going to do is I don't need these closed captions, but I also um, don't have to delete them because when I import them, I'm going to say replace all the captions. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go to file and I'm going to share and I'm going to do master file by default. And we're going to go to settings, click on audio only. See yours is probably on video and audio. If you have it on a video and audio, you usually pick a source, um, whatever that might be, or you might have yours on video only or computer. Mine is typically on computer and I usually select my resolution here. But instead of computer, again, just go to audio only. So now you have that and select your your type. I typically use MP3, but any type that TEMI or TEMI or any other transcribing service will accept, it will be fine. You can see it's gonna be a small file size. 2.9 megabytes is not bad. So let's just go ahead and click next. I'm gonna call it introduction, it's in my download, that's fine. And this doesn't take long because it's just audio and this is only about a three minute video or less. I'm not sure. All right, so that's while that's running, let's go to back to Temi. And now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use Temi and we'll fix this right up. So I'm here. You're gonna have a slightly different interface, but don't worry. I'm gonna click on new order and upload my file. And it is the introduction I just exported right here. And it is one minute and 31 seconds. So this would cost me uh, probably less than 20 cents, right? So it's uploading now, and this is how easy it is. I already have things saved as far as my check-in and uh, visa on here so 20 cents check out sure I want to pay with my visa I'll probably blur that last four out thank you your order was successful and now you'll see right here it's processing this shouldn't take more than just a few seconds it looks like we're ready to go I can click on view transcript and now it takes me to this page where I can actually um, type in as, a, as it plays so if I hit play See how that works? What I want to do though is I want to reduce the speed. I'm going to click on speed and I'm going to put it on something slower and I'll walk through it. Let's Set let's landmark acts passed in nineteen ninety, the American Disabilities Act or the ADA. Set landmark accessibility requirements that affect both the private and the public entities. Just as the ADA requires handicap access. So I put the period in there and it automatically capitalized just. I can also hit enter and it'll be a new section, which it should be. 
to anybody with a disability. Uh, let's play this again. Let's go back five seconds. Handicap access uh, to buildings. It also demand, demands that it. auxiliary aids be made available to anybody with a disability. In the case of deaf or hard of hearing, that means providing closed captioning for videos. Now, these videos can be uh, public videos. All right, let's like stop there. All right, so I'm going to have it and click on this little dot, 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 and let's go to export. And I'm going to go down to SRT, sub rip. You see it right here, sub rip SRT. And we're just going to click on export. All right. Now, let's go back to Final Cut Pro. I will do File, Import, and I'm going to say Captions, and this introduction.srt file. Click on Import. Passed in 1990, the American Disabilities Act, or the ADA, set landmark accessibility requirements that affect both the private and the public entities. Just as the ADA requires handicap access uh, to buildings, it also demand, demands that auxiliary aids be made available to anybody with a disability. In the case of deaf or hard of hearing, that means providing closed captions. So you want to go through the entire video and double check that everything is synced up, lined up, spelled correctly, etc. But typically it's just easier instead of going in through here and checking and then clicking on this little right arrow and going through each one. So what you do is you play it. Such as things like while really looking sure at the captions, hit the right arrow, and you can edit it on the fly. But I find that right. even even then, I, I just I believe that using a service like Timmy is going to be a lot faster and safer and better as far as your accuracy goes. So give it a shot, plug it in there. Next time you import, if you import it multiple times, it usually asks you if you want to replace. So. Uh, what I have here is you can see I have different roles. See how it, has, see how it says ITT and SRT? I was using ITT because I was using the, the method, um, the manual method, and the manual method defaulted to ITT. So what we want to do if we want to export this as an actual video, click on File, Share, and let's go back to Master File. And what I normally do is I click on Settings and I go to Computer and pick your resolution and what you want to do from here is uh, see where it says roles click on roles and you'll see where the options are for captions it's right here so click on captions and now you'll see that I have multiple options I have the ITT that was the manual one that I started putting in and then I have the SRT I want the SRT to be burned in as captions now burning them in means that no matter what the captions are going to show so you can't on a television or whatever device you have, you can't switch it back and forth on and off. So if you burn it in like this, it'll be permanently there on the screen no matter what. And as you can see, again, I had two different captions. I had the ITT, the manual version, and the SRT. I want the SRT because that's more closely aligned with what I um, what I was actually saying. I didn't get very far manually. So then you click on Next, and then your captions are there. All right. So. What you can do is you can actually go in and just delete the ITT if you'd like, because I don't want to use those at all. You can do it that way. And as you can see now, I have just SRT available. Very simple, and it's pretty accurate. I definitely recommend using Temi. I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. I just like the fact that it's 10 cents, and I can edit these on the fly while it's playing at a slower pace. So good luck, and I appreciate you watching this video. If you have any other better methods or if you found a completely free method for all transcriptions, please send a uh, comment down below. And if you want to hear more about this stuff, just go ahead and like and subscribe. Thanks.